double-digit differential on the scoreboard. New Orleans on top. They lead by 18. And don't go away. We'll be back with the action for the start of the second quarter in just a moment. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, folks. Welcome back. This is Ernie Johnson, Kenny the Jet Smith, Shaquille O'Neal at 2K Sports. Let's talk first half. After the first two quarters of play, it's New Orleans in control. They are completely in control of the game, leading by a massive amount. Kenny, what's your take? Well, they were dissing out dimes left and right, and the guys were finishing strong. As a team, they seem to be always thinking, always looking for the best shot. If they keep sharing the ball this way, the second half could be more lopsided than the first. Check. what do you think about the Pistons? Well, you live by the three and you die by the three. And today, <laughs> Ernie, they're dying. <laughs> and as cold as they've been behind the arc, they keep firing from deep. What are you doing? I know they got a lot of ground to make up, but they can't continue with this game plan. Not working. And it's just about time now for the third quarter to get underway. What a complete performance this has been. Back to the action after this word. Just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball, and how about the perfect delivery? And they'd love to see every possession in this way. True team basketball. Great job with social media. They're very visible, they're very accessible. They're well connected to the community through their platforms, but you do have to uh, exercise some caution in how you go about your um, social media profiles. For Clark Kellogg, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello, everybody. Welcome to 2K Sports, the Halftime Show. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. Boy, we have a lot to discuss. Kawhi Leonard is having one of those nights. He had 13 points, two rebounds, and one block. And taking a look at the Raptors, Kenny, what did you see out there? Well, there was a big spark from the bench in the first half. Sometimes you're hoping for your reserves to come in and just hold court, but they didn't do that. They actually got better. And now, Shaq, let's get your opinion on Milwaukee. The thing I like is their aggressive approach and getting to the line. You know, when things seem to stagnate on offense, it's sometimes a matter of forcing your will. This team can generate a lot of points and also dictate the pace of the game if they play with that aggressiveness. And that's going to do it for our halftime show, sadly. Third quarter about to start. See you again after the final. Horn. Oh, buzzer. Quarter on a 15 to 6 run. And we're coming right back. Be sure to stay with us as we get started for the fourth quarter. always been uh, the favorite to bag this honor these kind of feeds are his bread and butter well this is why Greg great point guard play is so critical in today's of our Jordan NBA player of the game Kawhi Leonard and Kevin it, it's a no-brainer he's controlled every aspect of this game and it's just so fun to see a player perform at a level that's just higher than anyone else wraps it out up on the floor for Greg Anthony Doris Burke and David Alden this is Kevin Harlan along with our terrific 2k sports crew thanking you for tuning in so long
And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey again, everybody. So far, a pretty uh, lopsided game, but still one half to play. I'm Ernie Johnson, joined by Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. Utah found themselves in a close game in the first. At the end of the period, they held a two-point lead. They just exploded in the second quarter, grabbing the momentum and running with it. Basket after basket, and they played stingy defense. Now they've got a halftime lead that's going to be very difficult to erase. And, uh, Kenny, what did you see out there from the Jazz? In terms of their offensive performance, that was a very well-played half of basketball. Good ball movement off the ball, hard screens being set, and they found the guy for the open look. That's how they were able to shoot such a tremendous percentage from the field. With that fluid, efficient offense, they'll be tough to catch in the second half. Shaq, let's get your thoughts on San Antonio. Not pretty to watch how they get torched in the low post, Ernie. When they were playing defense in the post, you know me, Ernie. Barbecue chicken alert, barbecue chicken alert. This team is going to have to up the pressure, play more physical in the second half, start a fight, throw some bowls, let's go. And now with the second half about to get underway, let's send you back courtside. See everybody with Kevin Harlan. Live from the AT&T Center in San Antonio, you're watching 2K Sports. Our Jordan player of the game, Ricky Rubio. He's put on a shooting exhibition for us here tonight. He's missed a couple along the way, but it sure seems like everything's been falling for him. The only way to keep him from converting is to keep the ball out of his hands. Without his heroics here tonight, this could have been a second straight loss for them. But he was sensational. And instead of a losing streak, for Brett Barry, he may have Greg hit. Anthony and David Aldridge. This is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening. lead heading into the next quarter they've had such great ball movement and shot selection and it's led to a terrific field goal percentage we come back right after this the 2k sports halftime show hey welcome back to 2k sports i'm ernie johnson shaquille o'neal is here say hello to the people shaq hola kenny's here Ni hao. And we're analyzing the first half of action. Things were going Charlotte's way from the beginning. Their biggest lead of the opening period during a very exciting run was all the way up to 13 points. They were hot as the first quarter came to a close, making all five of their last five shots of the period. In the second quarter, they cooled off just a bit, but were still playing confidently and were able to finish the half up by 10. Shaq, your thoughts on the Hornets? They did an awesome, horrific job. That's right, Ernie. Awesome, horrific. That's awesome and terrific together. Anyway, they did an awesome, horrific job of limiting turnovers. They were almost mistake-free. It put you in the right frame of mind when you can play like that. And as long as they keep protecting the ball in the next two quarters, they will protect the lead. And Kenny, your take on New York. They just gave up way too many good looks from the three-point line. That means either you haven't followed the game plan correctly or you're not executing it correctly. Either way, it's wrong. So... From the looks of the first half, they need to aggressively close out on shooters to close this gap and the score. That about wraps it up. Time now for the second half of the game. We go to Kevin Harlan for the call. Transition game has allowed them to build this healthy lead. We've got more NBA basketball coming your way in just a minute. Yeah, a terrific, unselfish play right here. Set up his teammate, and how about the setup this was? This is the versatility you need to play in today's game. Two guards have to be able to make plays for others. 
our Jordan player of the game, Kemba Walker. And I love that it's been a hard-charging performance. Jump shots have been kind of an afterthought. His main goal has been to attack the rim and put the D in some tough spots and also finishing strong. He silenced this crowd with an unreal display. His ability to drown out the noise and the hostility of an opposing crowd is pretty special. And we've got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Folks, for Greg Hi, Anthony, Chris Weber, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA, presented by 2K Sports. So long and good night, everyone.